Hey guys, Chameleon.com here. Today we're going to be doing an overview for the best vlogging camera that money can buy. It's the Canon G7X, and we're going to have an Amazon link in the description below for this specific camera, as well as other vlogging cameras you can buy. But according to Amazon.com, both the Mark I and the Mark II are Amazon choice. So this is the go-to camera as far as vlogging is concerned, and it's Quite honestly, a very good standalone digital camera. I mean, at 20.2 megapixels, it even beats the S7 Samsung that I'm recording on right now. It is tripod ready, and we're just going to get straight into this, but I'm also going to show you a very good uh, comparison chart on the Mark I versus the Mark II. Now, as you can see, this thing has been factory reset, so it's fresh out of the box. And if I click menu, I can skip the time and date, but here's the major selling point on why this is just an awesome vlogging camera. Most cameras, you can't do this. Check that out. Now as you can see, I can see myself on a front-facing camera hello, to um, record myself while I'm vlogging. Now you can do that with a smartphone. The problem is that a front-facing front camera on your smartphone is not usually the same quality as the back camera, which is the one I'm recording on right here. So front camera is to my face, back camera is toward the action. Now this is only one lens, but if you always have your back camera facing you, you're always going to get the best shot. And at 20.2 megapixels and 1080p up to 60 frames per second, per second with 60p, this is a not just a vlogging camera, but an amazing digital camera in its own right. So, with that said, check out chameleon.com as well. We have a ton of different camera gear, accessories, DS DSLR bags. We have so much camera gear on our website. It is ridiculous. Now, I'm just going to do a quick general overview of the camera, and then I'm going to show you this awesome comparison chart. But remember, guys, Amazon link in the description below if you want to get the best vlogging camera for your YouTube, Vimeo, or whatever you're trying to get out on there. I highly recommend this camera. It's got a lot of different functions. You can switch the, I think this is the ISO, right from the camera face right here. As you noticed, um, it's got a nice lens protector and it reverts back when you turn the camera on and off, which is great for protecting the lens. It's got AV output as well as, I think that might be HDMI. It's got an HDMI output and AV output. Uh, it's got a nice lanyard for keeping your camera from falling off, especially if you're spending a good amount of money on a camera. Nice little uh, safety net for you to not break your stuff. Here's the flash. So you just pop that up and you got yourself a nice... Ooh, that is a very smooth... Watch that one more time. Watch how smooth that is. Awesome. Great flash. And, you know, pretty pretty self-exclamatory. I think I already said it was tripod ready, which is nice as well, if you want to have a nice little bendy tripod. A lot of different functionalities. I'm not getting into all of these. I don't want to bore you guys. You guys can read through it in this awesomely extensive manual. I mean, this is a this is a manual, man. It's got everything. It's Wi-Fi ready. It's got NFC. You can transfer data by laying your phone on a computer or your smartphone. You can control it with your phone. You can take photos. It's kind of like a GoPro. You can It connects wirelessly. It's really, really tops as far as a digital camera is concerned. And then these two guys over here are for, um, I bought a new battery and a new charger. But um, I recommend it for a vlogging camera. Now, as I said, I'm going to show you this. This is the. I'm going to give a shout out to this site because I have not seen a better uh, versus for camera site than this. This is called CameraDecision.com, but I'm not going to go through this whole thing. But I am going to give you an, a general overview. So this is the Mark One, and I'm going to turn this off so I can actually see how that goes in itself and protects your lens. Very nice. It's got this nice clicking ISO. Anyway, so here's the deal. Mark II, got a rubber, it's got a rubberized grip. I think it might be slightly more weatherproof. I'm not sure. It's also got this little click button right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's got a little, instead of like a click ring, it's got like a click button. Um, but a couple of key features 
just to show you, like this is the me. They're basically the same camera, and there's a hundred dollar price difference if that really matters to you. But once again, guys, we'll have an Amazon link in the description below if you want to check out the G7X and the Mark II. We'll lead you right to these. Um, once again, guys, Amazon Choice and the G7X Mark II is also Amazon Choice. Only about a hundred dollar price difference. If you get them used, you can knock another hundred bucks off. So you can get a used G7X Mark II for like five hundred five, and you can get a used uh, G7X um, Mark One for like four hundred at the time of this recording. So really quick. Um, 2014, the G7X Mark I, 2016, the G7X Mark II, they're still playing into 2018, because the vloggers love these things. The tilting screen on the G7X Mark II has this strange ability to where not only does it fold up, but it folds downwards. So, like, you can, like, you can, like, be looking up at your camera and get a... So I thought that was kind of strange that they had that. And it can also be kind of used as, like, a stand... At the same, I don't know how I would, how I would feel laying my camera LCD touchscreen as a stand. By the way, the Mark One also has a touchscreen. I didn't get into that, but they both have touchscreens. Um, they're about the same. It's got the exact same lens. Um, the ISO on this is one twenty five to twelve thousand eight hundred. This one, the Mark Two, expands up to twenty five thousand six hundred. Um, same lens, optical image stabilization, three inch tilting screen. The Mark II has 8 frames per second of continuous shooting. The Mark I only has 6.5, if that really matters to you. They both have built-in wireless. The Mark I's a little bit lighter and a little bit more sleek. Um, if that really, if you want to have a, if, if like size really matters to where it's got to be sleek for you, the Mark I might be better for you. Um, what else we got here? Uh, the battery life, Mark II is a little bit, Oh, I don't like how they switch that up. The Mark II has got a better battery. And then here's some other stuff. Here's some specs. I'm not going to read through all this stuff, but as you can see, they're pretty much the same in most areas. Here's the G7X. Here's the G7X Mark II. Mark II's got that little rubberized grip. A little bit lighter. I want to say this before I go any further, though, guys. The best camera... Any cinematographer or f photograph, photographer or whatever is going to tell you this. The best camera is the one that you can actually bring with you. It's the same with drones. It's the same with everything else, man. Size, I mean, and three millimeters ain't really going to make that big of a difference. But it does make a difference when you're carrying something like this over a big Hulkin DSLR that's got like a 35 by 105. You can't put that in your pocket. This you can put in your pocket, that's why it's a great vlogging camera. I mean, aside from all the cool flip-up stuff, a camera really doesn't mean anything to me if I can't carry it around. So that's the major thing. Um, sensor comparisons, about the same sensor, if not the exact same sensor. Uh, wide coverage, telezoom, all about the same. What types of photography are the G7X Mark I and G7X Mark II good for? They're all about the same across the board. But that for some reason, they said the G7X Mark I was better for sports. I don't know if that was because of the 6.5 continuous shooting speed, but I, th I didn't know if that was a mistake. So they're about the same camera. Um, I don't know why, but they put the... I mean, they're pretty much the exact same thing. If you want to get something a little bit more grippy and a little bit newer with a, with a higher uh, continuous uh, photo speed... I would go with the Mark II. It's only a hundred bucks. If you're going to buy a Mark One, you might as well go with the Mark II. But I mean, they're basically the same camera. If, if money's tight, I would go with the Mark One. And then here's one more thing I'll mention, guys. I'll I'll have a link to this. But I just typed in vlogging camera on um, on Amazon. Of course, GoPro is going to pop up. But just so you know, if if you're really broke. You can go with these $100 deals, but the problem with them is they're 1080p at 15 frames a second. You know, 15 frames a second at 1080p ain't really going to do much for you. Um, and then, of course, Canon G7X is popping up on the first page. And then, always get a little bendy tripod. Great to have those things, especially for stabilization. 
And then we're also going to have links to these two as well. What else do we got here? And also I will have links to this. They have bundle sales where you can get like the tripod and a 32 uh, gigabyte SD card, which we always recommend SanDisk memory. I use SanDisk memory. I got this giant 64 gigabyte card that I bought. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll read through a couple of little Amazon quirks about these things and what people actually have to say about them. I had a really, there was a really good review. You guys are going to see this on the page anyway. I'm not going to read through all this, but like, you know, you can, you can transfer your data through Wi-Fi. It's pretty sweet. Continuous shooting, tilt type LCD screen, picture style function, panning, time lapse, control ring. This is the Mark II, of course. Um, illuminate your passion. It's got image processor, intelligent IS, multi-angle, compa uh, capacitive three-inch touch panel, built-in Wi-Fi and NFC, remote shooting with Camera Connect app, so you can use connectivity with your phone. And this is true to both cameras; they're basically the exact same thing. But there's a good review that someone wrote um, that I thought I would that I thought I would read through because it really, it really puts home uh, this entire review, and I'm going to end on this. This is from S. Volt. Five stars. He wrote this on 2016. I want to discuss the autofocus. The camera does not use dual pixel AF or any other phase det uh, detect AF system in it. Manage your autofocus expectations accordingly, especially in low light and in video. However, it does have a noticeable improvement in speed over its prede predecessor, uh, and for most situations, it's fine. So he's just, he's just critiquing it. He's a, he's a photographer. Um, what this camera excels at, just like its predecessor, the Mark I, is stills. It has excellent low and mid ISO image quality. I prefer the fine detail setting as my picture style as it provide, as it provides excellent sharpness and punchy, great looking colors by default. But there are a number of other picture styles to suit your taste. I also love this camera. Now it has camera raw processing, which can be useful. It seems also like Canon has quietly made some improvements to the lens because it seems a bit sharper than the one the G7X. Eh, I've seen videos. They're pretty much the same. Video quality is also excellent and quite sharp. The autofocus is pretty good, but because it's co contrast detect, you will also see a little bit of back and forth motion with focus from time, but... Otherwise, it's not bad. Great for casual uses, such as vlogging. Like I just said, the camera controls are well laid out. I like the chunkier grip. That's that rubberized grip. And the exposure comp dial has better feedback to it. I mean, okay, the one in the predecessor could be a little hard to turn. Really? A click? that That's hard to turn? Okay. Uh... I'm taking this for what it's worth. The LCD is bright and clear. It also has more flexible, which means this guy doesn't even type in proper English, by the way. Um, good and bright sunlight. Battery life is not stellar, but once again, it's also an improvement over the G7X. I will, I will say that because that re this review was saying that it actually had a battery life of about mm, an additional 20% battery life in the Mark II. Thought I'd mention that. If battery life's a... But then again, guys, you could just buy, you know, five battery packs and swap them out. You know, just not a big deal. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to end the review on that note. Highly recommend these cameras. Both the G7X Mark II and the G7X Mark I are both Amazon choice. The people have spoken. This is the best vlogging camera you can buy. Get yourself one today in the Amazon link below and get your YouTube channel up. Also, I'm going to do a shout out for a piece of software that I use. It's called TubeBuddy. It just makes you a better YouTuber. I'm not going to get it into it, um, but I will have a link in the description below. You will, you will get more views and you will get more followers if you use that software. On that note, chameleon.com is out. Be sure to check out chameleon.com today. We have a ton of different camera gear. I'm actually going to show you guys that really quick before I log out here. Um, I'm just going to search camera. 
show you guys what I got. So of course we have drones those that has the word camera in it, but we have like awesome gimbals and GoPro accessories and oh, let me go through this really quick. We have GoPro mounts and GoPro housings and actual film and um, lens caps and what else we got here? I mean we have we have 31 pages of camera stuff. Pages. That's like thousands of camera stuff. We have camera straps. We have... I'm going to type in DSLR in just a second. Camera bags, backpacks, soft lens covers. Um, a lot of GoPro accessory stuff. We have... We actually even carry the Yi cameras. Um, a lot of security cameras. I know I just typed in the word camera, so I'm getting a pretty wide spectrum for camera stuff. We have tripods. We have flashes that are held on hand grips we've got what else we got on here anti-fog inserts uh we have fish finder cameras we have i mean the amount of camera stuff on chameleon.com is ridiculous we have so many orders for camera stuff we're basically like a little b and h video but better pricing we have we have camera cases that make your phone look like a camera we have tripods we have bendy tripods we have handheld aluminum alloy stabilizers we have just so much stuff so much stuff um and that's pretty much it what else we got here there's a bunch of stuff i'm also going to type in camera dslr show you guys what's going on on that Dust blower cleaner. And we got a lot of stuff, guys. Be sure to check us out. I know we have a ton of camera backpacks, too. What type of camera backpack? I know we have a ton of those. I'm surprised there's not more on there, but you know, we got these cool ones for DSLR cameras. Fits your stuff. Anyway, not to beat the camera to death. G7X, best vlogging camera you can get. Get yours today. Amazon link in the description below. Chameleon.com is out. Peace.